fun, 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 and more fun. That's what we're having here live at Edison Nation, where we are creating the next best Everyday Edison's series. From taking 25 of the best ideas submitted out of thousands of inventions, submitted online, and we're going to eventually choose 10 of you. Gary Rose is here, inventor extraordinaire. Where are you from, Gary? I am from Naperville, Illinois, about 45 minutes out from Chicago. And we are delighted that you're here. I'm delighted to be here. Because we are excited about inventors. Have you heard? I have heard that. Yes, I have. We're very excited about inventors, and I know you are too. How long have you been inventing, and why did you get started? Um, I probably started maybe about a year and a half ago. Uh, I guess I've always had ideas, but uh, Edison Nation's probably been, after being introduced to Edison Nation, that's, that's kind of been an outlet for me. So I started submitting things about a year and a half ago. So uh, as far as who, my, my one friend Mark actually kind of introduced me to this site. So it was all, it's all good from here. He's in, the, he's in our team, too. That's right. You're the Luna men. Lu yep, Lunar men. Lunar right. men. The right. Lunar men. And that's a collaborative effort between you and Mark and one other? Robert and Greg. Robert and Greg. And they're not here. They're not here. They're not here. But tell me the importance of collaboration when you are creating a new invention. Uh, the collaboration is great. I mean, because everybody brings something a little different to the table. Um, you know, with us, we all have ideas. And a lot of times, they're, we're, you know, we're kind of fighting to get uh, uh, ideas in front of each other. It's, a, it's kind of a tough conversation, but we get through it. And uh, it's always, all the builds are always really well done um, because everybody has creative thoughts. And you can make, you know, I could make Robert's idea better or Greg could make Mark's idea better, or we could all collaborate to make everything work. But in the end, that's just the way we work. It kind of pushes us to, to uh, be better and bring more ideas to the table. So it's great. So far, the collaboration's worked out really well. Well, let me ask you about that, because if um, each of you, the lunar men, have a separate um, skill, mm -hmm. bring a, a different skill set to the invention, yet it's not as if one person has an idea and the others work on his idea. It's that everyone has an idea and then you all lend your support to each of your inventions. Correct. Um, you know, there's a couple guys, me included, who are, uh, and Mark, we're both designers, um, so we typically do some of the graphics, but Robert builds prototypes. Um, Greg is pretty, is pretty accomplished at doing illustrations too, so um, we all kind of have that capability uh, to actually, you know, get something physical or, or, you know, a representation in front of each other, but it's more about, um, it's more about just the idea and just kind of building on the idea and, you know, how's, how, you know, how's that going to work for the particular search, so. And in addition to the Lunar Men, you've also had the great support of Edison Nation inventors and members who are dedicated to helping each other. Yes, yes, uh, Ed Edison Nation's huge. I mean, if you go into the forums, it's kind of like a, like a big family. I, I unfortunately don't have enough time to be in the forums as much as I'd like, but when you go in there, you can tell there's, there's people that are like know a lot about each other because they're all talking back and forth. Um, but as far as the Edison Nation team, it's great. Um, if you're a pro with the Edison Nation, uh, you know, a pro, pro choice thing, you get, uh, you actually get feedback from the team when you're, if your idea makes it further. They'll kind of let you know, you know, why your idea, how your idea actually fared once it went to the client. So that's really helpful. Um, and just always having someone chime into the forums, like Scott Scott's Groms, he's great. He comes out, he, he chimes into the forums quite a bit to let you know how things are going with the particular search. Um, and I think that's always a big, you know, kind of shot in the arm for people who are kind of wondering what's happening with their ideas, you know, or, or, or the particular search, I should say. And what would it mean to you to be part of Everyday Edison's, which is our television series? featuring and showcasing new ideas and great inventors. It'd be very cool. Um, I'd wonder if, if, you know, if we make it that far, if all of a sudden they're going to eject me from this position and someone else is going to want to be on the TV show. But uh, anyway, no, it'd be very cool. Um, just, just in terms of, you know, just knowing that 
you know, all, all four of us, we work really hard at this. We're always submitting ideas, really always trying to come up with the best ideas possible. So to see, see something, you know, you kind of thought of or drew out on a paper napkin to actually make it that far would just be really kind of cool. Plus, I'd, I'd love for my uh, daughter to see me on TV. I think that'd be pretty hip. Tell me about your daughter. Uh, she is, uh, she's about seven and a half. Uh, she is just very smart, uh, uh, love her to death, and she, I think she's going to follow in my footsteps. She's always creating something kind of crazy out of things she makes at home, and she's just got, she's got some good ideas. She's, she might be a writer. She, uh, she has some really interesting stories that she writes, and always great commentary back from the teachers, like, great, great way to explain that. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, she's, she's really cool. She's the love of my life. Well, I've heard that the, um, the propensity for inventing and creative uh, energy is uh, hereditary. Oh, wow. Well, good. Then, uh, then I, can see, I can see it happening already then. Good luck to you, Gary. Thank you. We're so glad that you're here in Charlotte. <laughs>